This is Parabolas for Dummies by Hal. Sean. <laughs> Sean and Caleb. Sean and Caleb. We are both part of this. Comparison to a parent graph. Okay. The parent graph of this function, y equals x squared, is graphed like this right here. This graph right here. This graph right here is exactly the same as this as par the parent graph, except for the where it's located on the axis. As you can see, it is shifted up three and right two. This is displayed in the equation here. The effects of a oh. in an equation. <laughs> A is always your first number, like this guy right here. It's two there. It's two. A dictates whether your parabola will be normal, stretched, or compressed. And if A happens to be negative, you yeah, flip your parabola upside down. Like that. All right, good job, pal. My turn. Oh, shift. That's right. Shifts are direct effects of the B variable. Shifts are easy to spot when they're in the vertex form. Example right here, y equals x plus 4 squared plus 4. In this equation, the parabola would slide 4 units left because the, whenever a number is inside the parentheses, its value is the opposite. 4, negative 4. This is the normal parabola of a normal quadratic equation, y equals x squared. And this is the example. As you can see, it has shifted four units left and four units up. O shift. All right. These are your x and y intercepts right here. Your x intercepts are where your parabola crosses the axis, the x axis. And your y-intercepts are where it crosses on the y-axis. To find these intercepts, to find yeah, to find the y-intercept, you gotta plug in zero for x in your equation. And there's a lot of ways to find the x-intercepts. You can use the quadratic formula. You can even use your parabola pattern sometimes, and they can find them. Or, you can plug it into the calculator. That's the funnest way. That's the easiest way. So cool. I wish we could use our calculators in every test. I know. Domain and range. Domain is all the x values in a graph. And range is all the y values in a graph. Isn't that interesting? Domain and range. Domain of this parabola is all real numbers. Because the parabola goes on for infinity. The range of this parabola is all real numbers greater than or equal to zero. That's because the parabola intersects at zero on the y-intercept. And it is not going down, so yes. I heart math, don't you, Hal? I do. So amazing, Sean. Yeah. The end. Wasn't that so fun? Sure. We yeah. love math. And, hold on. We have more. I forgot to tell you one thing. Only one thing? One thing. The parabola patterns are very easy to do. That is when x, there's no a value and it's x squared, all you have to do is find your vertex, go right one, go right one, and up one, and go left one, and then go up one. And then for the other points, you go over two, up two, and then over two and up two on the other side. Basically the square roots of each number. What did Pretty you say? much. Thank you for that bonus information, Hal. You're welcome. Now this is the real end. Bye-bye. <laughs>